when I make pasta, I really get in the zone. And a few weeks ago, I uh, made Hoda and Kathy Lee out of pasta on the set uh, of the Today Show. So I showed up at 4 o'clock in the morning to create Hoda and Kathy Lee out of uh, colorful pasta. And I get there, and I didn't realize that I was like on the actual studio kitchen set. And so there are anchors walking by all around. Uh, and uh, one of the anchors came up and was like really trying to get up in my pasta and I was very protective of it. So I was like, dude, stand back or I'll, I'll flower print your suit. Uh, and he kept moving toward me. So I did, I did, I touched him. I, I flower printed his suit. And then, uh, I was so in my zone that I didn't realize it. But afterward, my publicist told me that it was Al Roker. And so <laughs> I had a bit of a moment with him. So, um, he stayed, he stayed away after that. No, but I have made pasta with, uh, Harry Connick Jr. With, uh, Snooki with, with all sorts of crazy people, uh, for Matthew McConaughey's wife. Uh, and it's always really fun fun uh, to see that everybody, no matter what you think of them in their station in life, all just turns into basically a little kid when they realize that uh, essentially my grown-up job is just to play with colorful balls of Play-Doh all day long. So it's a very uh, empowering and sort of therapeutic, almost zen kind of thing. And everybody just uh, sort of goes into this really cool, like, oh my god, I'm having fun and I'm empowered sort of mode while making pasta. So my kind of mission statement is to bring joy uh, to the world and I love that my medium is so colorful and relatively good for you and lighthearted uh, because I really do think that it's something that uh, that brings people together. I draw inspiration for pasta making from the world around me, sometimes from politics and serious subjects, sometimes when somebody who I really admire passes away, like Prince or Princess Leia. Uh, Prince or Princess Leia, I never thought about the parallel of that. You know, so I always try to do homages to people who, who I admire. Uh, but I also have been known to walk up to a perfect stranger on the street and ask them if I can take a picture of their shirt because their shirt is this font of information, you know, and it's like colorful and bright and patterned. And I think to myself, uh, hey, I want to make that into pasta. And if you ask them, you know, they're like, well, do you want my shirt? It's like, no, I don't want your shirt. Do you want to know who it's by? No, I, I don't actually care who it's by. I just want to recreate that pattern in pasta. Then they're like, what are you talking about? It's like utterly mind blowing for people, you know, and then I show them my work and then they're like, oh, yeah, you're right. My shirt would make amazing pasta. So uh, I think the short answer of where do I, uh, I draw inspiration for pasta making from everything in the world around me. And my inspiration list is hundreds of items long with just no, you know, hoping that I'll get to it all one day. Uh, but I feel like as a person who is very drawn to color and patterns and texture and uh, sort of the, the depth behind that, um, inspiration is everywhere you only have to open yourself up to find it. So it was really neat uh, to have the opportunity to come together for Food Loves Tech and engage with people. I always in love engaging with people uh, personally. I feel like uh, sometimes uh, with the way the world is, a lot of times you're stuck behind a screen uh, and you don't actually get to interact with people. And what I do, it's so important to have that in-person tactile connection. So whenever I am able to do that and get people involved with it, I can just see that it sparks this joy within them, you know, and it makes me feel like, oh, you know, I brought that to somebody. I, I brightened their day for a brief moment. And that human interpersonal connection is something that I think uh, maybe has fallen by the wayside a little bit with how technological our society is, but it's something that we need to bring back because human interaction and human connection is really the reason why we're on this earth.